Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find Laplace transform of derivatives. So first here we have to write down, yes when we have one function f of t and when we know its Laplace, this is given by this f of s, yes here we will denote this is by f bar of s, right, then Laplace transform of f dash of t is here given by this s into f bar of s minus f of 0, right? So, where this f of 0 is obtained by from this f of t by putting t is equals to 0. So, here we have f of 0 is equals to this is limit t tends to 0 from this f of t, right? And this f dash of t, this is the first derivative of this f of t. Right now we have to prove this statement here. So here we have given function f of t and we have given its Laplace. Right and we know Laplace transform definition. This is given by integral within limit e raised to minus st f of t. Right, yes. Next we have this is Laplace transform of f dash of t. Yes, by this definition of Laplace transform, we can write this is e raised to minus st into f dash of t, right? We have replaced this f of t by this f dash of t, right? Yes, now we have to evaluate this integral. So, here, yes, we will apply integration by parts. Here we have to take this is as a first function and this is as a second. Now, yes, why we have taken this is as a second function? Yes, we know that integration by parts what will happen? Yes, this is, yes, what is integration by parts? Yes, first function into integral of second minus d by dx of first function into integral of second, right? So, in integration by parts, we have to take integration of second function, right? Now, here if we consider this is f dash of t, this is as a second function and when we find its integral, this is with respect to t. So, we get this is f of t, right? Yes. So, here it is get easier to evaluate this integral by considering this f dash of t as a second function. Yes, this is here integration by parts. Yes, now here we have to apply integration by parts. So, here we have first function e raised to minus st into integral of second. This integral with respect to t minus integral of derivative of first function, right, into integral of second. Yes, this integral within limit 0 to infinity and this integral is with respect to t, yes. So, now f dash of t integral, this is f of t, right, and this is within limit 0 to infinity. Now, integral of, yes, derivative of this function, this is with respect to t, right? That means s variable is constant. So, its derivative, this is e raised to minus st into this minus s into integral of this is, this is f of t here, right? Now, we have to simplify this is, yes, here we are finding this Laplace transform of f dash of t. Now we have to put limit, we have to put here t is equals to, yes, this 0 to infinity. Yes, we can check that here we have for upper limit e raised to minus infinity is 0. So, for upper limit here we have this is 0 and for lower limit here we have e raised to 0 into this f of 0, right? And we can take this s outside. So, here we have this is minus minus this is plus. Since s is a constant, right? This integral 
this is as it is this is with respect to t right so here we have this is minus f of 0 right and this is s into yes this is what this is the laplace of f of t right yes this is by definition of laplace transform yes and what is f of 0 f of 0 is this is limit t tends to 0 in this f of t right yes this is here we have laplace of f dash of t so what we have here again we can write this is as a minus f of 0 plus s into yes this is as a f bar of s right so what we have find here this is s into f bar of s minus f of 0 and this is the value of laplace transform of derivative right so here we have find the value of laplace transform of f dash of t right this is s into f bar of s minus f of 0 right so here similarly in the same manner we can find laplace transform of f dash of f2 dash of t right so we have to find here so for this what we have to do yes we have find laplace transform of f dash of t so yes we can consider this f dash of t as another function of t this is we called as f of t right so here we can write f2 dash of t this is as a phi dash of t right and from this is also we can write what is then phi of 0 yes phi of 0 is by putting t is equals to 0 in this is we can write phi of 0 as a f dash of 0 right so we can find this value here in this way yes this is laplace transform of f2 dash of t we can write this is laplace of this is yes this is here double dash so here we can write this is laplace of f dash of t yes by this substitution right and this is what by this yes we can write by this way what we can write here yes here we can write this is s into laplace of phi of t right minus phi of 0 right and what we have put here phi of t and phi of 0 yes what what are these values yes we have considered this is as we have considered phi of t yes this is as f dash of t so here we can write laplace transform of this is f dash of t right and phi of 0 yes phi of 0 this is as a f dash of 0 right so here we have this is again we can check that again we can apply laplace transform derivative so what is this this is s into laplace of f of t minus f of 0 right and this is f dash of 0 this is as it is right so next on simplification we can write this is as a s square into laplace of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 yes we have find this is here s square into what is this this is a laplace of f of t and this is f bar of s right minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 so this is here we have laplace of f2 dash of t right this is given as this is s square into f bar of s minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 similarly here we can write 
laplace of f3 dash of t yes what will be this laplace yes this is given by this is s cube into f bar of s minus s square into f of 0 minus s into f dash of 0 minus f2 dash of 0 right so in the same manner we can find laplace transform of nth derivative of this f of t right so yes what we have here when we have this is f2 dash of t yes here we have to write s square into f bar of s and now we can check that s is in here decreasing order right same here this is s cube when we have f3 dash of t so this is s cube into f bar of s and s is here in decreasing order and here similarly we can write this is as a s raised to n into f bar of s minus s raised to n minus 1 into f of 0 then s raised to n minus 2 then here first derivative yes here we have f of 0 f dash of 0 then here we have f 0 f dash of 0 f 2 dash of 0 so this is here f 0 f dash of 0 up to here yes when we have this is third derivative here we have this is second derivative so here here we have nth derivative so here we have n minus 1 derivative of f and here this is 0 f of 0 right so in this way we have to remember all these values here so yes we have find first value laplace transform of f dash of t this is given by s f bar of s minus f of 0 right from this is we have find a laplace of f2 dash of t and we tried to write down all this value right so in this way we have find laplace transform of derivative so that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching